Today's topic is BCP. My topic is BCP. Uh, before starting, I would, I would like everyone to see this picture. Try to understand what exactly is happening. Turn on the light. It's an empty cluster. It's a ghost or like a crazy woman at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, yeah. Not a sexy classroom, picture. Empty classroom. Yeah. Could be a ghost also sometimes. Yeah, if you're alone in a classroom like this. So perhaps she's waiting for one day rude that never happened. So okay. Before before going there, I would like to ask all of you, if you are in such a classroom and then you know you're trying to learn something. Would you like to be in such an environment where you know there are no people in this class and in some deep classroom? No. Depending on the subject. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very good. So let's say okay. Let's depend, let's depend on the teacher as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. So most of us are here to learn. In Toastmasters Club, we are all here to learn. We wanted to improve our speaking skills, our leadership skills. So if we if we want to be in in such an environment, would you would you be you know, happy about it or uh, what do you think? So will you join a club if there are not many members in the club and there is no learning progress? You are not learning really anything, or you are not there is no progress in terms of learning, and then there is not enough guidance. You are looking for some guidance, you know, how to improve your learning, uh, speaking skills or leadership skills and there is not enough learning skills. Would you join a club when there is, if, this, if there is a situation like this? I don't think so. So, <clears throat> in order to measure, actually the objective of Toastmasters Club is to provide you an environment in which we all can learn, progress, and then we get enough guidance to improve our skills. That's the object of any toast, I know, establishment of it, establishment of a Toastmasters club. Now, in order to recognize how each of the clubs are performing, Toastmasters International came up with a program called as Distinguished Club Program. So, Distinguished Club Program measures any club based on various parameters. <coughs> Let me introduce you to the Distinguished Club Program that Toastmaster International brings to measure a club's performance, how a club is faring, whether it is a good environment to you know, go for this club or not. <coughs> so, <coughs> what it says, the program says is, a club should have at least 20 members in order to see, you know, or in order it to be lively and then we can exchange information and then we have, you know, uh, enough exchange of information and then knowledge to share. It also, come, it also came up with you know, a few more set of parameters. A club should have a growth of 5 members in an annual year. It, it can't just be 20 members, there should be you know, a growth of 5 members on an annual basis. The other parameters as well is you know, there should be 2 competent commu communicators that should be qualified from, the, from a club. There could be 2 more CCs if possible. They have, they have given 10 points actually. So each of them are with different parameters. Few of them talk about progress of a club member. If you are joining a club, you know, how many people have qualified to be a competent communicator? How many of the, of the members have qualified to be an advanced communicator? How many of them became competent leaders? So those kind of parameters they have clearly laid out, laid out here. So based on how many members have qualified, how many members have progressed, how many members have enrolled, they gave, up, they gave up with three awards to recognize a club. So, if any club is meeting five points, then they become distinguished club. Okay, five of these ten points, plus a basic requirement of having 20 members in the club. If seven goals are achieved, then the club becomes select distinguished club. If 10 out of 10 are achieved, I think 9 and above are achieved, it becomes a president's distinguished club. So these are, this is how you know, a club will be recognized in terms of the environment 
that the club provides to its members. <clears throat> so, I would like to now see how in the initial year of our club, you know, that has been set up, uh, how our club fared in terms of getting these points, how we are faring, right? So, if you, if you look at our numbers, out of 10 points, we have already achieved 6 points. That is really a great, great achievement for a club that was established in, in you know, within, established and then achieved within its one year. So we got two CCs completed. Of course, we got 45 members as on date. Actually, 45 members and then number of CCs, we got two CCs qualified out of this club. You know, additional CCs, yeah, I think we are still progressing. Probably we may have additional CCs as well. CL, yeah, we have one CL. You know, uh, we have additional members, 25 additional members. Instead of, you know, actually four, they are given four, but I think we have 25 members, 25 new members joining after the club was established. And then, we also have an EXCO team who are given training by Toastmasters International, who have attended this training. So, the qualified team of EXCO, EXCO in the sense like, the members running the club were qualified, trained to give guidance. So, Pinky, when you have any issue in terms of selecting a topic, or, you know, if you are lost, please let us know. We are ready to help you. We are well qualified to help you, you know, pick up a topic. Definitely what you have picked up, uh, what the, the topic that you have is really a good creative idea. I have not seen such a good, great creative idea. But further, going down, if you, if you want any topic, please let us know. We are ready to help. So, this is how we fared. Actually, we are still progressing very well with regards to how uh, our club is performing. So, I hope... As of now, we are targeting to become select distinguished club. And right now, we already reached distinguished club. We are targeting select distinguished club. I think, I hope we will be achieving it as, as quickly as possible. And then, of course, achieving 9 initially is very tough, but we will try to do that. So, with that, I would like to end my speech. I would like to thank before when everyone who contributed to this, you know, making this club successful in terms of achieving this um, uh, this uh, um, uh, title. Thank you very much.